totally different uh, topic because <laughs> it's a technical topic. Uh, I'm going to introduce the global positioning system, aka the GPS, to you. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'll explain how it works, how does it works. I expect I can get it. So nowadays, when you buy a car, you will probably want to buy a GPS device with it. And when uh, we get a cell phone, and probably there will be a GPS chip inside it. And when you launch a missile, if you can, there is a GPS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not Korean do that. <laughs> so what is GPS? A GPS is a satellite navigation system. Wow, so amazing, so marvelous. GPS, uh, satellite, satellite navigation <laughs> system, and it provides location and the time information for GPS receiver or the GPS chip. Yeah, both time and location. And it is for military and uh, civil uses, both. Um, actually, it was first designed for uh, military uses. It is designed by the US Department of Defense, aka DOD, in 1973 and uh, Phoenix in 1994. Uh, as all you all know, that's the time that during the Cold War, and Cold War is a really exciting and amazing time for science and technology. It contains uh, as many as 24 satellites and uh, a master control <coughs> station and many other uh, observation stations and something like that. But the most important part is the 24 satellites. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yes. So it, it can provide location in a precision uh, less than 10 meters. Uh, actually, uh, there was a time that for several uses, the, uh, the precision is as large as uh, 100 meters. How can you imagine a 100 precision, precision location can be used in our daily life? That's impossible. But why is that? Because the DOD put some man-made timing or we can say location error into the GPS system, which is called selective availability. Because they think that if their enemy can use GPS to attack them, then it is a uh, it, it is a secure, serious secure uh, events. So they put down some selective ability into uh, ability inside it. But in the year of 2000, they canceled. They turned off this feature. Because why? I don't know. Because uh, maybe they, they, they think that uh, security is not a, a reason anymore. But we all know that what happened in the next year. <laughs> Joking. So how does it work? <coughs> this is the important part. Um, first, each satellite broadcast uh, its message continually to the receiver. The message contains two information, two important information. The one is the time when the message was sent, and the other one is the location or the position of that satellite. So it's like that, uh, I'm the satellite, I tell you that, hey, I'm, uh, I'm in this position, and I, I'm now at 9 o'clock. So, what next? The receiver will calculate distance to the satellites using this message. How can you do that? This is the what, how you do it, you did it. Because if we know when or what time the message was sent, and we know what time I received the message, then I can know how long the message travels in the space. And the message travels in the speed of light, so I can know the distance. So when I tell you that my location and what time it is, and you know, how far away you are from me, right? So, this is uh, the case of one satellite. But we like need to take relativity into account because the satellite is traveling very Good fast. question. I'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, this is ideal case, right? I can know the distance, how far away I am from the satellite. So, you can imagine that I, when I say I'm so far away, from the satellite, but I, 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 I could be any point of this sphere, the surface of the sphere, because I, I don't know how, what, what the direction you are, right? So how to do how to solve that problem? You receive another message from another satellite. So now you get another sphere that you are in the surface, any some point of the surface of this sphere. The two sphere, the intersection of two sphere is a circle. I must be in both this sphere and this sphere, so I must be in some point in this circle, right? So next, when I receive a third satellite, I've narrowed down my possible position into two points. 
So if I can receive message from three satellites, I can know my location because one of these points must be very far away from the Earth. And we all know that we are on the surface of the Earth, so I know one of the points is my location. So that's why, that's how uh, the GPS works. So, but this is this is ideal case that we need three satellites to, to detect my location. But in practice, actually, we need four satellites. Why? Because, as Ethan said, there are clock buyers. I said, I sent you a, a message in 8 o'clock, but you found that you, you received the message in 7.59. How is that going to happen? You received it even before I sent it out. So that's a problem that my clock and your clock might be different. When I'm at 8, 8 o'clock, it might be all, 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 um, 7, right? So this is the, 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 the uh, accusation accu 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 of how far away I am from the satellite. And uh, so how to solve this problem? <laughs> it's kind of complicated now. We all know in high school mathematics, we know this is a sphere and, and how to calculate the, the, the surface of the sphere. This is the equation. Equa uh, equation x uh, coordinate, uh, y and z, and this is the, the, this one. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so when we get a uh, <laughs> message from three satellites, we will know yeah, this is the, the x, y, z of the first satellite, this is the distance, the distance is what is t, r, t, t, v. And there are three unknowns in this uh, equation and three equations, so definitely we cannot calculate the x, y, z because there are only three equations. So how to do that? We received from a four satellites and we got four <laughs> equations and now we have four <laughs> unknowns and four equations and we can solve the problem. This is how we do it, it's quite simple, right? <laughs> so, yeah, this is an interesting problem. So why it have to be 24 satellites? Do you know why? Because uh, some satellites um, could uh, just be behind the horizon, so you cannot receive their information. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, so 24 satellites can ensure that everyone and everywhere can receive at least four satellites mm -hmm. in the Earth. Mm -hmm. You thought you were right, but I tell you, you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Why there is 24 satellites? Very simple, because they, they have more money to launch more satellites. <laughs> 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 the GPS project was cut in 1994, you know, that's the, the, the Cold War is over, and there are many projects there that are useful. Uh, start with a huge plan, with a huge budget, but end with a <coughs> budget cut. <coughs> so they have no, no more money, so they launch 24 satellites. And there are three of them are backup satellites. Okay, so there are some other GPS like system in the world, like uh, Beidou in China, most of you might already know that. And so how many most of them also? work in the same way mm -hmm. like GPS. So, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end this. So, why, why do we need to know this? Because we can, we can use it in my in our daily life. We can use which has rocket growth in the same principle of GPS. So, I hope you're interested. Like it. Thank you.